Okay, in this section we will be talking about equivalent fractions and I'll introduce this concept with a simple diagram. Look at these pictures here. Both of these images represent a fraction and you can count and see what the fraction is. In this first one there's one piece shaded out of, out of a total of four so the fraction would be one-fourth or one over four. Now compare that to this one. Here there are three pieces shaded out of a total of 12. So the fraction is 3 twelfths. And you can see that these are the same. In each case we have the same portion of the entire circle shaded. So these two fractions are in fact equal to each other. And so we call them equivalent fractions. They are mathematically equivalent. Let's look at another example. In this first one you can see that one piece out of the two is shaded, so I can write one over two. In this one, two out of the four are shaded, so you can write two over four or two-fourths. And in this one, three out of the six are shaded, so three over six or three-sixths. And you can see that in each case the top half of the figure is shaded in every single case. All of these are equal. The shaded portion is the same in each of these. And you can actually put equal signs right here. One half is in fact equal to two-fourths and that is in fact equal to three-sixths. These are all equivalent fractions. And with a little bit of thought you can probably see that we could find a whole lot of other fractions that would be equivalent to this. Four out of eight would be also the same as a half or 10 out of 20. In all of those cases exactly half of the figure would be shaded if we were to represent these fractions with pictures. We could have an infinite number of equivalent fractions. Now with that in mind let's say a few things about testing for equivalent fractions. Sometimes you have two fractions and you need to be able to test mathematically whether or not the two fractions are equal to each other. And there are a few ways to do this, but one simple way to tell if two fractions are equivalent is to cross multiply. If the cross products are equal, then the fractions are equivalent. I'll show a couple of examples. Okay, in this first example, are 3 fifths and 12 twentieths equivalent fractions? What you do is cross multiply. Take the 3 and the 20 and you multiply them. So I'm going to draw a line connecting those and the 12 and the 5 and draw a line connecting those. And in each case we want to take the product 3 times 20 and I'll say is that equal to and I'll draw I'll indicate that with an equal sign and a question mark over it. Is that equal to 5 times 12? Well 3 times 20 is is 60. Okay is that equal to 5 times 12? Well 5 times 12 is 60 so yes those are equal so the answer to the question is yes are the two fractions equivalent? Yes they are. Now let's look at this one. Are 5 sevenths and 7 tenths equivalent fractions? Well again we cross multiply. 5 times 10 is that equal to 7 times 7? Well, 5 times 10 is 50, and is that equal to 7 times 7, 49? No, it's not. They're close, but they're not exactly the same, so they are not equivalent fractions.